Hi guys and welcome to yet another video setting out to be illustrated tutorial and in this tutorial before we start diving deep into the different nitty gritty usage of different panels and tools we are want to or you want to have a look at the main interface and what's the main parts that make up the interface of Adobe Illustrator well this would be a very general overview we will not be going into detail of any of the options that are available and what the stuff that you can do in here so let's get started just uh, to the right of the Adobe Illustrator you know icon uh, there is these uh, options given which is called the menu bar and the important things like in file option they are this your saving options importing option opening different things export and import these are given in edit preferences that you can change how you want to use a illustrator that is given copy paste and cut and the other options are given grouping and ungrouping of objects type tools you know related to text or logos that you do and there are many other options and panels which might not be given in any workspace or panels in here but they are found under windows and you can open them from here along with it is here a little bit of application bar we will be talking about this in the upcoming tutorial also in detail but this one uh, the rocket icon i want you to pay close attention to it when you click on it with it you can control the gpu for performance and animated zoom in which i will also tell you in the upcoming tutorials uh, just beyond the menu bar is the control bar sometimes also called or referred to as the option bar here are different sort of options you know regarding the stroke fill color and stuff and their sizes opacity but this is a very you know work related or what you have chosen or selected in your adobe illustrator uh, dependable uh, depending on that it changed this option but it's not always like this for example if i select something like this keep your eye on this it might change a little as you can see it subtly changed some of its options and if we go back to something else for example like this it changed again and if i deselect my option and then it change and if we go to something other panels and stuff it will change again depends on the type of material for example now i selected type tool now this justification option has been given here okay with the rotate tool some options have been also again changed so depending on your tools or what object you have selected this option or control bar change and it gives you specific commands related to that work or that tool just beyond the option is of course your work or pv via viewer area where you put your objects or create them from a scratch just to the left of it is these tools given here you can view them in single row or you know the one which i prefer of course uh don't worry if there are too much tools you do not need to remember all of them because i've seen graphic editors or artists that go through their entire career without using all of them because their work might be just specific to some of these stuff and not the others and i will give you a good understanding in this beginners to be illustrated to tell you about all of these and what they do and what you can achieve with them if you learn them properly and practice with them but as i tell you again don't be overwhelmed by the sheer number you do not need to always use them in every single object project because many of the projects just require a few of them and they are very easy to learn also the key thing is that you practice okay uh apart from these uh these tools also have this small little icon in or in their corner if you click with the left left mouse button and hold as you can see they uh, open additional options for you and every tool has additional other tools inside it for example some have a lot of these options some have little this graph tool for example here is a lot of more options here this type tool also has a lot of options but this uh, direct selection does not have that many okay the other important area in the interface of the adobe illustrator 
is this area which is called the uh, panels area and different sort of panels are available here for example now the icons are only showing but if you click on this small uh, double arrows here the open uh, five panels open up they are related to color swatch gradient stroke libraries assets panels uh, and uh, different organizational work colors that you can add with them uh, links that you can make to other you know uh, adobe uh, creative cloud applications those sort of stuff are given in this menu or these panels these panels are basically a bunch of commands or uh, uh, you know uh, of uh, different orders they are packed into one smart panel and that you can use to do different sort of tasks uh, in here and if some commands or panels are not given here they might be in here in windows and you can of course open them all those panels which do not have you know for example color in front of them or check mark they are closed at the moment if you click on them for example this precious one it then opens it up like this and if you click on this four horizontal line or icon it opens up additional option for that panel but again also don't be uh, alarmed by this in uh, few tutorials or very soon we will be going about, about or uh, talking about in detail about the panels and different options that are available in here have you can use these panels to your advantage this is the interface of the Adobe Illustrator of course if it is if you are working in the essential uh, workspace what is workspace and what is the essential workspace we'll also be talking to you about these options in the upcoming tutorial uh, not when i say upcoming tutorial i do not mean just about after this tutorial i mean it's coming soon no matter if it's one tutorial later or it might be the next tutorial so don't mind that i might have misled you on that point okay because there are a lot of other options also and you can of course make your own workspace and i will show you also in that tutorial in which we will talk about workspaces how you can make your own <coughs> workspace so that's it guys for this tutorial in which i just want to tell you or make your fit with Fit wet, feet wet with the interface of the or lay of the land of the Adobe Illustrator. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and I have not bored you to death. I will hope to see you in the next tutorial. Until that time, I take my leave from you guys.